At first, there are only fleeting glimpses of the cub when its mother carries it to a new den. The mother doesn't make it easy for them to keep track of her. She changes dens often. Badgers are notoriously shy and elusive. It will take weeks before the badger mother will allow observers to share her life. And when she does, the cub is about three months old. He's revealed as a lively little replica of his mother with the same striking coloration. It warns of the fierce disposition he will one day display. But for now, he's barely weaned. And it's time this youngster was introduced to a wider world. Today, she's taking him along on his first foraging trip. From now on, he'll be expected to walk, at least some of the way. It's a wobbly start, but he soon gets the idea. Rain doesn't happen often in the Kalahari, but today's the day. A few hundred yards and his legs can't carry him, so she does for the rest of the way. The cub is tired and wet. This is his first brush with the cruel world outside his burrow, where only about half of the cubs survive to adulthood. The mother interrupts her hunting to dig a burrow where they'll wait out the storm. After the storm, mother and cub continue on their way. Every day, mother and cub go foraging, and he's fast learning to move like a badger. But the constant trotting over the dunes is tiring for the little guy. He's tired and hungry, and while his mother digs for a lizard, he's ready to nap right where he is. And all this sand. Maybe if he moved a little. His mother gives him a giant ground gecko. She's hungry herself, but lets him chew on it for a while. He's just getting into it when his mother returns, and this time the gecko is only his for as long as he can hold on to it. The tussle has landed the cub on a nest of ants, and immediately they attack him. His mother isn't too concerned. Just another sharp lesson in the life of a badger cub. And with a rough rescue, he gets the message. It's time to trot along. <laughs> 